Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about Laravel new features. So last day we have discussed about all the Laravel 9 features and upgrades in a single video. In this video, we are going to discuss about in more deep about the new upgrades. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is the structural changes uh, when you install Laravel 9, right? So just go to the terminal and let's install the Laravel. So first of all, we need to use at least PHP version of 8, right? As the Laravel 9 requires Symfony 6.0 and for Symfony 6.0, it needs at least PHP 8 to run the Symfony. That's the reason in Laravel 9, we need to use a minimum of PHP 8.0, right? So my computer is set up with a PHP latest version or PHP 8 version and now to install or to create a new project simply i just going to create with the composer and simply write create project laravel slash laravel and suppose my project name is laravel demo right i'm just going to enter this and it will create a laravel application that is a laravel 9 version so you can see there is a 9.1.4 and it's taking some times to install uh, fully so laravel installation is complete now just enter into the um, folder that is laravel laravel demo and just open the visual studio code this is actually my application editor right so just use the visual studio code by using code dot or you can directly open file from here so right so you can see the application is inside my visual studio code and the first things if you check in the uh, resource section you cannot see the language file so this is the changes so in our previous version we have a lang file into the resource but in new version lang is outside of this resource folder so it is in the root folder right and the next things the basic things if you check in our previous version you can see there is actually server.php now you will not get server.php here and the another things there is stop migration so if you check into the database and open any migrations suppose i want to open a suppose user migrations and you will not get the user class here it's directly using the migration it's extending and it is using a return new class that is the anonymous class name so basically this is called as anonymous stop migration so right you get all the things as it is right so now simply just if i going to create any new migration how to do this in laravel 9 and how it's appearing so let's see so before that just go to the environment folder and you can see i have uh, created a blank database so just configure here so if you just go to the database section and simply this is my username all are good and this is my password and if i just want to migrate these things how we can migrate so simply write php artisan migrate okay so it will migrate all the tables so if you just uh, go to the database and let's check all the table is inserted so just uh, like previous now if i want to create a new migration file or if i want to create suppose a new model and uh, at the same time i want to create a migration and relate the controller how we can do this simply and just uh, create a php artisan make colon model uh, suppose uh, my model name is post and i want to create a migration file also i want to create a controller right so just enter this model created and created migration also controller created successfully so if you just uh, go to the visual studio code again and you will get a migration file for post so just go here and you can see the new file is created and this name is not present here basically we are using the anonymous stop migrations right so let's close this now and also it's created a new controller 
and these are the same place not changed anything so if we just go to the controller section you will get the post controller and along with this i just created the model that is the post model you will get the post model also so all are good now if i just want to uh, add some columns into the post table and i want to migrate something so how we going to do this simply just uh, write a table and i want to add a title so i want to the post title so simply the data will be uh, the string so simply write string and my column name is title and in a similar way just uh, create body so i want a content to display for the post and this will be the text type so it may come with long text so there's a reason i am taking body and also for uniquely identify our um, post we just need a slug so by slug will get so simple write string and let's add the column name as slug so now if i uh, just uh, going to run this so simply how to run the php artisan migrate and it's creating error so what is the error undefined variable title so sorry it is a spelling mistake so it's not a title actually this will be the table okay and let's migrate this again so it's migrating and if you just go into the database and you can see the post table is added right so migration is uh, mostly same as our previous version the important thing is we are using anonymous stop migration we don't have server.php and also we will not get the lang folder into the resource so just go here uh, sorry just go into the resource will not get it is in the root file of our application so this is all about the structural changes of uh, laravel 9 and next day we'll going to discuss about the accessor mutator related things right so in laravel 9 uh, there is changes of accessor mutator so if we just check the release note you will get our accessor mutators related changes so right so previously we are using these things but now we don't need this in laravel 9 we can do in a same function so we'll discuss in our upcoming video so for now thanks for watching this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video have a good day bye